Playing Minecraft in virtual reality is a dream come true for a lot of people, and it is absolutely one of the coolest experiences if you are a lover of Minecraft. But with it not officially out on the Oculus Quest, or at least not yet, if you're really hopeful for it, can you still play it on the Oculus Quest? And the answer is yes you can as long as you have a PC, and today I'm going to show you how to do that. There are two ways you can play Minecraft on your Oculus Quest from your PC. One way is using Virtual Desktop, and the other way is using Oculus Link. There are also two versions of Minecraft. The Minecraft Windows 10 version and the Minecraft Java edition. Now I personally prefer the Minecraft Java version and I'll tell you why here in just a few minutes, but if you're looking to do this wirelessly with virtual desktop, Vivecraft and the Java version of Minecraft right now is really the only option you have because for whatever reason I just cannot get Windows 10 Minecraft to run in VR using Virtual Desktop. Let's start with the easiest way, and that is using Oculus Link. In order to play Minecraft on the Oculus Quest using Oculus Link, you'll need to have a couple of things. First of all, you'll need to own a version of Minecraft, either the Windows 10 version or the Java version. To play using the Windows 10 version, make sure you have the Minecraft software installed on your PC, and you'll also need the Oculus Rift platform. Jump over to the Oculus Rift platform and search for Minecraft, and install the Minecraft essentially add on in the Rift platform. Then it's as simple as putting on your quest, plugging in your link cable, navigating to the Minecraft game inside your library on your Oculus platform and clicking on it. That'll launch Minecraft in VR through the Oculus Rift platform. Now, like I said, this version is a little janky at times for me. It works okay, but it doesn't work nearly as well as the Vivecraft version. So if you want to play the Vivecraft version, which is awesome, supports modding, and to me, the controls are way better, you'll need to buy and download the Java version of Minecraft. Once you've done that, navigate to the Vivecraft website at the link in the description and download the most recent version of Vivecraft. One thing to note is that you will need Steam VR installed on your PC to use Vivecraft as it uses the Steam VR platform. Next up, jump into your headset, enable Oculus Link, and then turn on the virtual desktop option. Then you're going to need to navigate to the Minecraft launcher, whether you have it open on your PC already, have a desktop icon, or just search in the Windows bar. Once the launcher is up there, you'll see at the bottom where it says the version of Minecraft you're launching into. Make sure you launch into the newest version of Vivecraft that you have installed, and as soon as you hit play, it'll jump into Steam VR and it'll load into Vivecraft. Now that's how you play with a cable, but what if you want to play wirelessly with virtual desktop? Well, first of all, you're going to need to have side loading enabled so that we can get virtual desktop working. If you don't have virtual desktop already working on your quest to play VR games from your PC, then I'll put a link in the description on how you can get it set up. Once everything's already set up, you've got virtual desktop side loaded and it's ready to go. Make sure you have the Java version of Minecraft installed on your PC. Then again, go to the Vivecraft website and download the newest version of Vivecraft and install that as well. Now, just like with Oculus Link, you're going to open up virtual desktop on your Quest. You're going to search in the search bar or open up the Minecraft Java launcher. Make sure you have the newest version of Vivecraft selected. And remember, you do need Steam VR installed for this to work and hit play and it'll launch right into Minecraft VR using Vivecraft. Now, there's two different ways to get you into Minecraft in virtual reality. Now, let's jump into some gameplay in Vivecraft and show you how it works. All right, here we are inside of Minecraft, which is a crazy thing to say. But being in Minecraft in virtual reality is totally, totally different than looking at Minecraft on a two-dimensional flat screen, even though it's still from a first-person perspective. We're in creative mode here. I just wanted to jump into a world and show you a few things. Uh, so the cool thing about Vivecraft is there are a lot of different options, and uh, it seems to function a lot better, in my opinion, than the Windows version. It allows you to do smooth turning. If you want to do that, I could not find an option, which it may be there. I'm just missing it in the Windows 10 version. Um, some of the stuff you can do, I don't know if you can teleport in the Windows 10. I didn't mess around that long with it, but this uh, version is automatically set up to pull the trigger um, on the left uh, left controller and you can actually teleport hey, hey little sheepy and it'll allow you to teleport so if you want to use that instead of using smooth locomotion if that makes you sick you can still do that you can still enjoy minecraft um let me see what else using the the grip buttons cycles through your inventory you can open up the uh well that cycles through your hot bar or whatever you call it you can hit the X button to open up your actual inventory and allows you to look through your different uh, items you have here. Obviously, this is creative mode, so I've got everything right now. In fact, uh, let's uh, grab a sword here. I think it's just awesome to have a sword. There it is right there. Something so cool about having the ability to swing around a sword. <laughs> it's just, uh, just awesome. Now, you can actually physically swing and hit things in this game. I don't know if you can do that to trees. 
but you can do it to animals and to, to mobs. You're supposed to be able to anyways. Well, it's not working very well. <laughs> but anyways, what you do to actually interact with things, there you go, that's hitting right there. You pull down on the trigger and it actually works. So that's a little easier. You get, you can do it the other way, but it's kind of hit and miss. Pushing down on the thumbstick on the left-hand side jumps. Pushing down on the thumbstick on the right-hand side crouches. And uh, that's pretty much it. I've got it on um, auto... I care what it's called, but it jumps over the, the blocks automatically because it's a little bit easier when you're playing in this version of Minecraft or virtual reality, be able to do that. You don't have to do that, and I don't always allow it to do that, but uh, sometimes it just makes it easier. All right, let me see. What else can we do? Uh, what else we got here? That does the hitting. Okay, that opens up your quick menu. Is that what that's called? Quick menu. Oh, hey there, piggy. Yeah, I know. All right, so now that we're in the menu, I want to show you something really quick. You can actually use mods inside of this version of Minecraft. So we're going to go to options. And you can use resources packs. Resource packs, I don't have any resource packs open right now for it. But if you go to the video settings, you can actually turn on shaders, which I do have some shaders. There it is. Okay. So there's sh vibrant shaders is the one that I went ended up going with. You can pop back out. So see, you got a totally different experience here now. The trees themselves are moving the blocks the sun is shining which is really really cool and it just looks absolutely awesome all the mobs are the same most of the textures are the same all the blocks are the same i haven't adjusted that you can do that too uh the more shaders and textures and resource packs you use the more pc power it's going to use so it might not run as well uh but this looks really cool. I love playing with especially shaders because it really looks like you're in a different world. As you can see here, the lighting is nuts. Let's go find some water because that's nuts too. Look at this. Look at the water here. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos, you might have seen me play with play this in another video. But the water is a floating grass thing or top of the water. But look at the water. I mean, it looks absolutely amazing. Because of the shader I'm running, it's a really, really powerful shader it seems to be i'm getting a little bit more latency than i would like so you can use this i probably would adjust some settings to make it more usable look at that light right there though now let's turn the shader pack off really quick all right so i've turned the shader pack off uh, and you can see it's a lot more smooth and i'm actually i'm using a, the uh, rtx 2080 super and it still was chugging along uh, but uh, it was getting a little bit of latency there. So what I want to show you now is one of my favorite parts about this is actually just going up in the air and looking around because it's a beautiful thing to do. I mean, look around. Yes, it's all blocks and it doesn't uh, look necessarily stunning, but it is so cool to be able to fly through Minecraft and look around. One of the creepiest things about being in Minecraft in virtual reality is the ocean. <laughs> you look down there, it doesn't look so creepy when you're looking, but if you drop down in the ocean, Look, it's blue. You can't see anything anywhere. If you're afraid of water, not a good idea to do. Oh, that's creepy. I'm not necessarily afraid of water, but uh, I don't like deep, dark things I can't see. All right, the sun's going down. I wanted to show you this really quick to see what happens at night. We're in creative mode, but there should be mobs still because I left it. Uh, oh, look, a bumblebee. What's he dropping? I don't play Minecraft enough to know what the heck he's dropping. Hey there, dude. All right, so yeah, the sun's going down, which is awesome. We're going to watch the sun set from over here. Hopefully some mobs will pop up so you can uh, check out some mobs. Let me see if I can get any more. Uh, oops, let's do that. We're going to do some armor here. Let's throw in some armor, maybe. Uh, what the heck? Let's do some diamond armor because, uh, you know, we can. So we'll throw some diamond armor in here. Let's see if I remember how to do this correctly. There we go head shoulders knees and toes no not quite kind of yeah head shoulders knees and toes look at that i was right <laughs> i got some diamond armor on doesn't show up obviously man look at that red sunset that looks so cool all right some mobs should start popping up here soon i don't think i have it on peaceful i'm pretty sure i uh ooh, scared me as a bumblebee uh i'm pretty sure look at the reflection of the sun down there that's really cool on the water all right we got some mobs coming out they should be here soon Playing this in creative mode isn't so bad, but playing it in... Maybe it is on peaceful. If it is, uh, I made a mistake. I wanted to show you guys mobs. Hey, chicken. Let me go find... There's the moon over there. Let me go find some mobs and see if there's any around that we can take a look at. Oh, oh, yep, there's a spider. So there must be mobs around, right? 
Hey there, dude. Big freaking spider. They sh it is on peaceful, I think, though, so they shouldn't attack me. Is that how it works? <laughs> I don't remember. Let me find some stuff around here and see. Where the heck are they? Usually mobs would be showing up a lot faster, so I imagine that they're not going to show up. What's that down there? Oh, that's a zombie. Okay, there we go. So there is mobs. There, there's a zombie and a creeper. All right, hey there, dudes. Yeah, it didn't work very well. Hey, zombie, what's up? Shouldn't attack me because it's uncreative, but uh, yeah, that's how it works to see a zombie and a creeper anyways. There's another zombie. Where's some skeletons? You should see... Oh, there it is right there. You should see it with texture packs. I did a texture pack or, or a resource pack or whatever it's called in one of my other videos. I'll put a link to it uh, in the description. That was freaking creepy. You can get some really creepy texture packs and stuff. They do still look at you. Man, they're everywhere. Yes, I know. I can hear you. Hey, the chicken. They're going to eat you. So that's what it looks like at night, anyways. Ooh, what's this little light over here? There's a lot of mobs around here. What causes this? Is this just... Ah, oh, okay. Lava. That's why. Hey there, sheepy sheeps. All right, so that's uh, that's Minecraft, or Vivecraft, really, in virtual reality. I prefer playing, like I said, I prefer playing in Vivecraft over Windows 10 because it functions way better. And it seems like uh, it's got a lot more... It's a lot easier to use, plus you get mod support. And uh, every once in a while you get a little bit of a glitch like that. Well, there it is. There's uh, Minecraft in virtual reality, or Vivecraft, I guess, technically speaking, you could call it, because that's what it is. Like I said, I prefer playing uh, Minecraft in virtual reality. Ooh, I didn't mean to break that. In virtual reality on Vivecraft, because uh, it's got mod support, and it's just simpler and easier to use. I like the controls better. So there it is right there. That is uh, Minecraft uh, on the Oculus Quest. Huge thank you to all of my Patreon members. You are all absolutely amazing, and it is super humbling to see the support for BMF. A special shout out to all of my VR revolutionary members, Ghost Robo 100, Mike Curtis, Audrey Gordon, VR Balance, and Elijah Cook. <laughs>